By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. John 13.35 is a very popular text with Jehovah's Witnesses. They make reference to it several times. Oh, how they love those words from Jesus. On the night before he died, Jesus gave his disciples a specific command. He told them, Just as I have loved you, you also love one another. Then he added, By this all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love among yourselves. John 13, 34 and 35 Jesus said that his true disciples would be clearly identifiable if they showed the same sort of love that he displayed. That statement was true in the first century, and it is true today. How important it is that we overcome any challenges and show love for one another. Note the title of the article, Love One Another Intensely. All for the outward show. Those are the words that inspire what ex Jehovah's Witnesses call their outward show, love bombing. They literally show you with love for the specific reason that people will see the love and declare them Christians. In the book Insight on the Scriptures, under the heading Christian, it makes clear that claiming to be Christian requires more than simply a mere confession of faith. It is more than being a nominal Christian, a Christian in name only. For example, according to the Bible, it is necessary that belief be demonstrated by works, not just words. And since we were born as sinners, those who become Christians need to repent, to turn around, to dedicate their lives to Jehovah, to worship and serve Him, and then to submit to water baptism. They must keep themselves clean from fornication, from idolatry, and from consuming blood. They are to strip off the old personality, including such things as fits of anger, obscene talk, lying, stealing, drunkenness, and as Galatians chapter 5 says, things like these. Yes, they are to bring their lives into accord with Bible principles. Christians are to be kind and considerate mild-tempered and patient, and are to exercise self-control. They provide and care for their own and love their neighbor as themselves. That's a lot, uh, isn't it? It's not a matter of just glibly saying, I am a Christian. But despite all of those impressive characteristics that we just enumerated, what did Jesus say the main identifying quality of a true Christian would be? Most of you know the answer to that. But let's read it again from John 13, 34, and 35. It says, I am giving you a new commandment, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also love one another. By this all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love among yourselves. That was an almost perfect summation by Samuel Hurd. The only thing he said that I could take any issue with is their understanding of the consumption of blood, which is for another day. I will not get into that now for the obvious distraction it would be. But he did give a good talk there. And you will find several references to and commentaries on that text in Watchtower literature and videos. In fact, in Watchtower publications in the Watchtower library software, it is mentioned and or discussed a total of 317 times. I mention in the software because the software is limited. It does not give you Watchtower magazines beyond 1950 or Awake magazines older than 1970. And of course, it does not include older books. So I am talking within the boundaries and not necessarily everything ever written. On the contrary, there are some words of Jesus that the Watchtower seldom discusses. 
Matthew 5, 47, a fundamental principle of Christianity. And if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so. Compared to the 317 references to John 13.35 in Watchtower publications in the Watchtower library software, there are only 15 references to Matthew 5.47. Let that sink in. The 302 more references to loving one another than to the matter of greeting only your brethren. Why is that so? But there's more. The last time the Watchtower made mention of that text was 10 years ago in the November 15, 2010 magazine in the Questions from Readers section. Would you like to hear how the Watchtower explains what Jesus meant? True Christians, they say, do not show partiality toward people of certain educational or ethnic backgrounds, nor do they extend love only to those who are able to reciprocate. Rather, they have the poor and the sick, the young and the old. In such ways, Christians can imitate Jehovah's love and thus be perfect in a relative sense. In a relative sense. No Jehovah's Witnesses. Jesus was saying, if you only greet Jehovah's Witnesses, you are not Christians, pure and simple. He was saying, if you only greet your own, you are nothing but a closed society. Let me put it another way. Jesus was speaking out against your shunning policy. He was contrasting letting the world know that you are Christians by your love toward one another versus showing you are no different from the world if you only greet your own, if you shun none Jehovah's Witnesses. Let us give the Watchtower another shot at commenting on what Jesus said at Matthew 5.47. The previous mention was exactly one year earlier, that year 2009, where I found some amazing statements. Get ready for another. Here goes. Jesus gave us a reminder when he said, If you greet your brothers only, what extraordinary thing are you doing? Are not also the people of the nations doing the same thing? Matthew 5.47 In this regard, consultant Donald Weiss wrote, People resent it when others look through or pass them. There's really no excuse you can make that will appease those who have been ignored. The remedy is simple. Greet people. Talk to them. If we do not let aloofness or coldness on our part chill our contact with others, we will have good results. Wow. Amazing, isn't it? 2009, what a year. Maybe every ex-Jehovah's Witness being shunned should send that statement from the Watchtower to all the people shunning them. Maybe you should start your own letter-writing campaign, ex-Jehovah's Witnesses. Maybe you should. While the statement is profound, while the statement is amazing coming from Jehovah's Witnesses, while I support the sentiment 100%, the Watchtower has still neglected to say to Jehovah's Witnesses, the sentiment that Jesus expressed. Jesus said, if you greet only your brethren. The Watchtower has carefully not said to Jehovah's Witnesses, you should not make it a habit to greet only Jehovah's Witnesses. You must also greet non-Jehovah's Witnesses, including ex-Jehovah's Witnesses. That is the message that Jesus sent, that the Watchtower is carefully steering clear of because it condemns their shunning policy. Back to the love bombing that Jehovah's Witnesses employed to give an outward show of love. The truth is, it worked. And it worked for a long time. 
If you asked someone who knew little about Jehovah's Witnesses to tell you the little they know, it would typically include the following. They believe you must call God by name, and that his name is Jehovah. They do door-to-door witnessing more than other Christians. They are decent and tender people. They have their own Bible. Many people will tell you that. They believe they are the only true Christians and that they alone will be saved. People know that. They believe only 144,000 going to heaven, but that all else will be on a paradise earth. People will tell you that and somehow people tend to stress one good thing about them is that they really love one another. Yes, I've heard it said many times by non-Jehovah's Witnesses. People tend to start off with what they view as weird about Jehovah's Witnesses, but they tend to close on the positive. Yes, if there is one good thing about them, it is that they really love one another and take good care of one another. At least, that is how it used to be. But oh, how things have changed or are changing. Now Jehovah's Witnesses are known the world over for, guess what, Jehovah's Witnesses? Child sexual abuse and cover-up, financial maneuverings and shunning. Yup, the word is getting out there about how victims of child sex abuse are treated in this organization. In fact, it is reported that the organization is about to lose their charity, sta- their charity status in Australia come early 2021. Uh, thank you, President. My question is for the Attorney General. Prior to 30 June, the 30 June deadline for organizations to sign up to the National Redress Scheme, the Attorney General said, and I quote, it's just not acceptable that institutions don't sign up. We will be making it a condition of contracts with the Victorian government that institutions that have got a liability when it comes to institutional sexual abuse join the redress scheme. Ms Hennessy said funding was in jeopardy, including grants and funding to deliver social or other services. To date, the Jehovah's Witnesses organisations, which have over 1,800 accusations of sexual abuse against it, have not signed up to the scheme. Has the Victorian government stopped all funding to Jehovah's Witnesses related organisations? And if not, why not? Minister Thini. Um, thank you, President. I thank Ms Patton for her question and her ongoing um, interest and commitment to this area. Um, I will refer the matter to the Attorney General um, in relation to the Jehovah's Witnesses. Ms Patton on a supplementary. Thank you, President. Thank you, Minister, and, and as way of supplementary. As I've previously brought this to the attention of the House over the last few months and years. The Jehovah's Witnesses organisations have gone to great lengths to sell assets, restructure their business and charitable activities, consolidate their property portfolio and send vast amounts of cash overseas, all in an effort to reduce their exposure to claims against them of sexual abuse. There are now 155 registered Jehovah's Witness organisations in Victoria. Will the government now strip them of the tax benefits they receive? Mr. Thini. Thank you, President. And again, I thank Ms. Patton for her question. Um, and consistent with um, my referral of the substantive, the supplementary will also be referred to the Attorney General. Thank you. The word is out, Jehovah's Witnesses. Does it give you chills to hear Jehovah's organization being described and discussed like that? Does that sound like a description of God's organization to you? Do you know what the word charity means? The King James Version translates it love or translates love as charity. Imagine that. What they deem God's organization, the world is removing charity from because of nothing else but their coldness toward their own because make no bones about it, Jehovah's Witnesses. You may view the victims as apostates since usually they are disfellowshipped, but the world views this as how you treat your own own. That is when they were your own that they were molested and kicked out. 
And that will be the reason you will go down in history as losing your charity status in Australia. And that could be just a start. It is highly likely to happen in other countries. The UK could be next based on how things are shaping up. But it gets worse. Just last week, I was in a taxi and speaking with a driver about the organization. We were talking about my YouTube channel and the driver told me that there is one weird thing about Jehovah's Witnesses that stands out to him. It is that if anybody leaves the organization, everybody in the organization stops talking to them. And he said, there is no way that can be Christian. In Jamaica, we call it malice. He said, Christians simply do not malice. Newsflash, Jehovah's Witnesses. That was not the first time I heard it. The organization that was once known for its love is increasingly getting known for its hate. People now tell you about Jehovah's Witnesses and shunning. People are now realizing that you are not disciples of Jesus by your hate. As we would say in Jamaica, your skirt is raised and your underwear is showing. That is not exactly the words that are used, but this channel is rated PG-13. This organization is in decline, and this is not a nice way to go down. Thanks for watching this video. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Hello, Winston here. Just telling you thanks for tuning in for this video and encouraging you to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit the bell so that you will be notified when new content is uploaded. There is more to clicking the like button than just suggesting you enjoyed the video. The more likes that a video gets, the more YouTube shows it to non-subscribers. And the more that happens, the more Jehovah's Witnesses are reached. The videos have proven to help Jehovah's Witnesses. So that one little act can go a far way. So go ahead. Click that like button. It helps. Love you all. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Thank you.